Hey guys, it's Chris with Battle Beaver Customs. Today we're going to finally go over how to install a 2.5mm female jack into your stock Microsoft headset that comes with the console. So this is the jack that I sell. It's pre-wired, pre-heat shrunk on there. It's going to keep your contacts from making any contact with the board and shorting out. So we're going to jump right in, do it pretty quick. You got your stock headset here we're going to worry about just the puck so this is what we're going to call the puck or the adapter first you want to take the back off of it um, I usually say pry right between these two metal prongs and this back plate so put your fingers on the metal prong and on this back plate give it a nice pull it'll come right off when you do that you will expose a few screws you have your two main ones here and then one two three here Go ahead and take those out. I actually have a pretty neat tool for this. It's a little micro automatic screwdriver. Pretty cool Christmas present from my wife. Can I say I'm a nerd? So you take out the three black ones. I'll teach you a trick here. When you get to the two silver ones, I usually just run them until they're about flush with the back right here. So you don't want to take them all the way out, otherwise those pins start to fall out. I'm going to try to juggle stuff putting them back together. Just run until they're about flush. And then this will just lift apart. Just pull this apart, take this piece, I'm just going to put it up here to the side, and then you have your bottom half. Your wires are still connected here to the board. You can take this and just pull up here, and this will just lift right out. Throw that off to the side. So we're going to worry about the important part right now, which is going to be trimming. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in a little bit. All right. So we need to trim this to get the port to fit. And what we're going to notice is you'll have this circle right here that is what your board will rest on so nothing can really be taller than that circle to give you a reference inside of here see if I can get a good shot of lighting's kinda weird coming off my phone here but on the inside of here you'll see how it's kinda recessed on the sides um, where it's just a little bit thicker here to here that's what we're going to cut out so take your port take this and you'll see where that square is just about just take that shove it straight down your exacto knife I'm kinda wobbly here because I balance a camera right in my face while I'm doing this do the same thing on the other side what you want to do is kinda clear this out on the bottom so you run your exacto knife side to side on the bottom. That'll open up that hole. So that takes off the walls. Then what I like to do, you have this little bracket right here. I want to make that thing about half as thick as what it is. So you'll just push your exacto knife into the sides, just a hair, shave side to side until that's about half its thickness. Don't want to cut it all the way out. The more you can leave in there, the better. So just run that in, one side, boom to the other side, try to get this pretty flat, and again just thinning it out, we're not doing anything too crazy, because the port can always sit a little extra low, it can't sit any extra higher, it won't fit. So get all that out of the way. So now I have this hole opened up. What we're going to do is zoom back out a little bit. We're going to take our port, so port right here, you'll see on this port, I have it pretty well covered up, and on this port you can see the front of these, these metal contacts on each side. You want the housing here and here to sit right between those contacts, that's going to allow this port to sit out just a little bit. Uh, my first few, I set them in kind of flush, and what I was finding is, this thing's rounded so when you go to shove your jack in there 
it, a rounded section and something flat, they don't sit straight. So you're getting this number. It wasn't going in all the way. You're getting a lot of echoing, people not being able to hear, not being able to talk. Just wasn't working out well. So put this in where it sticks out a little bit. It's not ugly, but that's where we want to make it hit. So what I do, I take a hot glue gun. Um, I prefer a high temp hot glue gun, partially because you can unplug them and they'll last for about five minutes without being on heat. But take this, just put a little bit of it right here on the bottom that you just thinned out. Take your port. And again, just get it kind of flush with those. You can see the wires will kind of fit down in this little crevice if you want them to. That's fine and dandy. Um, what I also recommend doing, you'll see your holes here. So on the bottom of this you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different holes. Those are the clips that go on the back of this. So this is your back plate. You want this to sit on pretty well. So try to keep your glue behind these two clips. So you want to make kind of a U shape right here. What you're going to do is put a good amount of glue here. It's going to hold this port in place. It's not going to move. But when you go to jam your jack in there, it's going to have a nice bed of glue to hit up against. So you're not going to worry about knocking it loose or shoving it out of the mic adapter. So just take the, your glue gun, fill that crevice in a little bit. Boom, that's it. All right. While that's drying, we're actually going to cheat. We're just going to spray it with a little bit of a compressed air upside down. Happens to cool stuff down really fast. I'm sure you guys have seen that trick before. So we're going to take that, kind of put that off to the side for a second. We're going to go over the two other trimming spots you got to do. So this is your top section that you unscrewed. You're going to notice right here was part of the keeper for the cable. We want to cut that thing down just a hair. Um, a lot of this is going to be guesstimation. So I usually say, you'll see the height of this nub, go that same height under the nub and cut that off. Trying to do this where you guys can see it is a little bit more difficult. Let's see here. And Boy Scout rules, you're not supposed to cut towards you. So just trim that down a little bit. Okay, so you have this, put that off to the side. Our last trimming piece, this is at the bottom. This is kind of the hard part. We want to trim out, so we can get a good focus on that. Trim out this side just a hair. And we're just going to shave that a little bit and shave the side a little bit of this. And then we're going to cut this portion down about half of that thickness that's right there between there and the round. Okay, so again, take your X-Acto knife and just shave off just a little bit. So you guys can see the thickness there of what I took off. Do that, again, kind of push your X-Acto knife in. They'll give you some good guidelines to go side to side with. When you take and cut side to side, if you have a good little indention, it'll kind of help keep it square. It may not be a flat square, but it'll be straight, keep it from cutting this thing wide open. If you do this slow, fit it up, fit it up a few times, it'll look better each time. So here's you got that. I'm oh, a little crooked here. If I want to do that, just straighten this side out. Okay, a little bit better. So, so we trimmed that out, made that a little bit wider there. So now we got to put the port together. So we have our the board from earlier, right? And put this in right here. I'm going to actually turn this just a hair. A little too far, you guys can't see it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this for you guys. See what I'm doing. So, take your soldering iron. When you put heat to these contacts, these things should just slide right off.
being a little bit more delicate than normal. My camera is actually mounted onto my helping hands that's holding up the board right now. So if I give any pressure on it, it wants to slide away. Take your pre-wired port you have in here and you want to connect. You'll see a little fuzzy right here because it won't refocus, but this first one is ground. Then we have mic, HPR, and HPL. So your ground is your common ground. Mic is going to be your mic positive. HPR would be stereo right if you are stereo voice. HPL would be stereo left. But HPR is also your ground when you're running mono. If you notice, your stock one is only one-sided, so it's running mono out of the box. What we are going to do, I hear that it helps out quite a bit, is if you don't run that third or that fourth wire. So we're just going to run three. The colors on all my ports will be always the same. So your blue wire will be ground. So take your blue wire. I just kind of spread them out so you can get that first one. Put it in ground, get a little bit of solder on the tip of your gun, or tin it in there. Get a good contact on your ground. Okay, blues first. Red, go to your mic. That's your mic positive. Okay, that one hooks up. Skipping number three, going to green. That would be speaker left or speaker positive. And Boom, put that one together. That's all the soldering you have to do. It's actually extremely easy. <coughs> what I'm going to show you guys actually real quick is if you are familiar with changing out LEDs, to change this LED, I'm not going to do it in this video. If you know how to solder SMD LED, congratulations. This is a 0603 LED. It would be the same size as the 360 ring of light um, the it's kind of covered up with a piece of tape here your positive is your back section this being your negative so if you have an LED that has an arrow on it you want the arrow to point down if it has a little dot on one side that's denoting ne the negative side again make it point down when you go to change that out that's pretty simple but to finish putting this back together just take your port, take and hold it all together. And get that. Make sure everything's fitting right. You don't want those, you don't want your uh, that stopper to connect on there. So that's good. Go ahead and start screwing it back together. I like to start the two silver ones, they go all the way through. Finish getting all these together. You're about to be able to game with your third party headsets again. If you buy one of these ports from me, I will include a written diagram of just pretty much what I said, which colors go to which in there. And then also I'll put in the diagram if you decided to use a uh, to salvage your stock headset. So here is your mic. You want to take your back and put it on there. These little clips are real fragile, so you want to Kind of look inside of there, make sure they're lining up. I like to start from this side and you'll kind of fill them, it'll snap together. And there you have it, that's your 2.5 modded jack installed. Okay, here is the wiring diagram I'm talking about. So when we had it held up earlier, port one, two, three, and four colors I have blue red black and green black being the wire that we're skipping or it's optional if you want it run you can do so um, there's no reason to have it this is a diagram for a 90 degree metal port and this would be used to salvage your stock headset you can go down to Radio Shack you can pick them up in the drawer 
since they're American, it's not going to say 2.5 millimeter. It'll say 3 and 3 30 seconds. These things, they open on the bottom. has like a little rubber band that comes with it. So just take that, open it up here. And the little piece you're working with is this right here. And what that means, 1, 2, and 3, that is your very tip. Um, number 1 is white, which is will be the white wire when you strip open your microphone. So your white goes to number 1, number 2 being your blue wire, and then number 3, this back section, is your ground. So you'll run the black wire and you'll run your bare wire. What I normally do is I'll run those two wires, the black and the bare, <coughs> running here onto the mounting section, get those put in, then run the other two up here, and they go in reverse. So this is number two and this is number one, because number one goes all the way through to the end. It's smaller. I can't explain it. Uh, but just run those in there. Once they're all in, take this bottom part here, crimp them together. That's going to hold your wire in place, so when you go to yank on it, it doesn't come out. When you're done with all that, you just put it back in the little holder it came in. You put it shut, you have a little uh, rubber band thing that goes on the end of this, boom, clips it together. You can glue it down or whatever. I do it. I mean, I'll charge you guys five, ten bucks to do it, just so you don't have to mess with it. But you go down to Radio Shack, the part's three dollars and thirty cents plus tax. So until next time, guys, that's it from Battle Beaver Customs. Visit our Facebook page or Twitter or YouTube or eBay store, just pretty much everything out there. We're trying to move around. So if you have any questions, message me on Facebook. That's the fastest. Or do it on YouTube and I'll probably get around to it. But if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.